Welcome back to Green is Good, and we're so excited and honored to have with us on the line Jihad Riscala. He's the Vice President for Responsible Retailing at A-Hold USA, which is the parent company of Stop and Shop Supermarkets. Welcome to Green is Good, Jihad. How are you today? Very good, John. Thank you for having me. Hey, Jihad, we're so happy you're here because this is such an important topic, what you're doing in terms of greening the retail world, greening the the supermarket world. But before we go into it, you have a bio that literally would take up the whole show if I was to sit here and read it. It is so impressive on where you've been, how you've gotten to where you are today, your journey so fascinating. Could you share with our listeners a little bit uh, your journey and how you became who you you are today? Oh, thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you for the kind words. Absolutely. Um, well, I uh, grew up in Lebanon until I uh, turned 20 when I moved to this country, basically to finish my studies. Okay. Um, and then, uh, the, as, as my bio indicated, I'm a graduate of uh, Wentworth Institute of Technology. I got a bachelor's degree in uh, architectural engineering. And then I went on to get my master's degree in uh, engineering management from Tufts University. Wow. Um, I started my career in uh, store planning, which was related to architectural engineering at Brigham's Ice Cream and Restaurants in Arlington, Massachusetts. And a few years later, I joined the Stop and Shop Supermarket Company, and I went through uh, uh, different uh, positions from construction to uh, uh, engineering to design to store planning, and last but not least, uh, a year ago I had the opportunity to uh, change careers into something that I honestly uh, love as much as I love the uh, the design and engineering, which is uh, responsible retailing uh, for us at Ahold USA, but also known to the rest of the world as corporate and social responsibility. The uh, the, the shift. You know, some people say, well, what, what is an architectural engineer doing in, in corporate responsibility? A uh, few years back, back in 07, I got involved in um, energy conservation, and I led the, uh, the, uh, the team that uh, uh, was assigned to uh, reduce our carbon footprint by 20% by the year 2015 based on 2008. And that basically was a, an ahold global uh, initiative and commitment. So as I got involved in energy conservation and sustainability, I grew, in all honesty, uh, to love the field hmm. in addition to what I was doing in engineering. So as, uh, as we implemented more and more initiatives and as we saw the results of our uh, work and hard work, uh, we have a team of dedicated uh, folks who have nothing to do but to implement energy conservation across our uh, fleet of 758 stores and uh, look at, it, at technology uh, to make sure that we are uh, basically amongst those who are best in class in, in uh, sustainability uh, in, in the retail world. So Wow. That's... Uh, that's in a nutshell. I, I hope uh, it wasn't too long or was too no, short. No, it's perfect. Because it summarizes it's, it. No, it summarizes it. And it's so great, Jihad, because there's so many young people out there that listen to our show across the United States and across the world that want to become the next Jihad Rizgala and want to, be, want to follow in the footsteps and, be, and help change the world. So that's why it's so important that our guests share their journey from their perspective. That's so helpful. So let's talk about what you're doing here and, and the role of supermarkets with regards to climate change. What is the real role here? You've got 758 stores. Well, you know, how do supermarkets fit into this whole equation with regards to climate change and what's going on with, with the whole sustainability revolution? Well, for us and, and for the Ahold uh, retail uh, divisions, John, um, it, is, it, is, it is an exciting time because we have committed uh, to, as part of our uh, responsible retailing uh, commitment, we have committed to be a, a better neighbor. And what a better neighbor means to us, we promise, a promise of better neighbor means that we, uh, one of the promises is that we care for the, uh, we care for the environment. And what it means, it's, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a, a continuous uh, commitment and dedication to looking at implementing 
and implementing uh, environmentally friendly solutions in our operations in order to achieve our goal, which uh, I referenced earlier, which is reducing our carbon footprint by 20% by the year 2015. Got it. And, and, and so when you, you put the words together, because I haven't heard this before I had a chance to speak with you today. What, you know, what does it really mean to you, the term responsible retailer, and why is it important uh, for your company to be a responsible retailer? Well, responsible retailing means it, it underpins our vision. It, it's, it's our values it, it, and, it's, and our strategy to create and accelerate growth. It helps us deliver value to our customers and, and, and other stakeholders, uh, customers and associates, because we strongly believe that our associates play a big role in our big plan, in, in, in our big commitment. They are at the forefront of dealing with our customers, at taking our, our everything that we believe in and uh, making it happen at store level, making it happen with, you know, the, the customers who become, who are part of our community. Sure. And we are part of the community because that's, that's who our associates come from, our customers come from, and, and we want to be that good community member. And at the end of the day, it's something that we strongly believe in, that it is the right thing to do. Got it. Got it. And then well, how does your, you know, it's one thing for you to really enjoy this or some of your other leadership members at Stop and Shop. But then how do you make it a cultural and DNA opportunity with regards to the Aho brand and the Stop and Shop supermarkets? How do you drive this? How does management continue to show their support for responsible retailing and then translate it to all the employees in all the stores? Well, one of the things that we're trying to do, John, and it's a great question, actually, is we can't do it or couldn't, couldn't have been able to do it without a strong commitment from our executive leadership. And what we're trying to do is to embed all what we believe in into the business, embed it into everyday practices. Um, and that's why this year we've introduced uh, – as part of our responsible retailing commitment, three promises. The first promise is to make us a better place to work, make us a better place to shop, and make us a better neighbor. So um, it's a strong commitment. It's uh, from the top leadership all the way down to uh, associates at store level. Now, uh, I'm not saying that it is easy. I'm not saying it's all <laughs> behind us, John. I'm not right. saying it's all, as they say, Fet accompli. It is isn't yet. <laughs> it's work in progress, and it's hard work. It it it's, doesn't happen overnight to take all these initiatives and uh, you're right and great thoughts and in you know flip a switch and suddenly you are a sustainable, responsible uh, company. It, it's a lot of hard work. It's uh, and and again we make in progress every day. And one of our you know uh, straight I mean great uh, slogans actually is all these promises to make us better every day. And as days go by, we will get better by uh, basically the, uh, you know, the, the commitments and the dedication that we get from our associates. And, and, and quite frankly, our, our customers also uh, have to be engaged. And our customers, uh, hopefully one of these days, sooner than later, will be our great supporters also. Many of them have and I have seen and will continue to see uh, a lot of the great things that, that that we're doing, and we will, in the very near future, start uh, engaging more. That is our, our associates and customers, because up until now, uh, we have been, uh, quite frankly, very shy at telling our story and very shy at telling, um, you know, our customers and our associates about all the good things that we've been doing because it wasn't part of our culture, meaning we have been doing it because we've been doing it right? and we, because we believed in it. Rascala, you know, I see guys like you and me and, and, and leadership companies like uh, the Aho brand and Stop and Shop as the sustainability immigrants of our times. We're the first, we're the first ones in the United States really getting involved. Our children and our grandchildren will become the sustainability and environmental natives. 
and because they're going to have a lot more experience behind them and they're going to grow up in this society that's going to, it's going to be culturally uh, really more part of the culture and DNA than what we grew up in. So my question to you is, who do you look at for inspiration? Since we're the first line here, since your company is really one of the first line movers in this as a supermarket chain, what other retailers or food companies are doing it right that you draw inspiration on or you like their paradigm that you are drawing some uh, um, new ideas from to, to implement it at your great chain? Well, great question, John. You know what? We're not, we're not the first, and, and I hope that we're not going to be the last either. Right. I mean, our industry, there are a lot of uh, industry uh, retailers are doing uh, good just like uh, we are. Uh, although, uh, albeit at different, uh, you know, uh, commitments uh, or level of commitments and, and, and different uh, 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 success, so to speak. But in, in general, I think in across the board in, in the U.S., you've got a lot of, you know, uh, big names, uh, folks such as, um, you know, Walmart is doing good stuff, right. uh, Whole Foods, and uh, across the ocean, you've got Marks and Spencer in the U.K., was also doing a great job. Uh, you know, they have part of their uh, CSR uh, program, uh, something that says plan, plan A because there's no plan B. <laughs> you know, uh, so, uh, you know, they, they basically they're saying, you know what, you, you have to do this. It's like you've got no, uh, no choice, so to speak. You know, uh, <laughs> another example is Ben & Jerry's. I mean, their mission statement is built on a sustainable corporate concept of linked prosperity across their social mission, product mission, and economic mission. Their focus is on children and families, the environment. I mean, we share those values with these companies. Uh, you know, our commitments, again, uh, of, of being a better neighbor is caring for our communities by supporting all the, uh, uh, the, 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 the causes, food banks, uh, fighting uh, hunger, uh, child obesity, providing uh, you know, uh, choices, uh, healthy choices for our associates and our customers, caring for the environment through all the, the, the initiative that I mentioned earlier. And also, last but not least, is also being uh, socially uh, responsible and sourcing our products responsibly. So uh, there are a lot of values being shared uh, amongst these companies, Great. including ours. Definitely. And we're going to get to some of those. And for our listeners who just joined us, we have a fantastic guest on the line with us right now. We have Jihad Riskala, and he's with Stop and Shop. And if you want to read more about the great things Stop and Shop's doing, I'm on their website right now. It's www.stopandshop.com. I'm on their recycling and environment space on their on their website. But you know, Riskala, talk a little bit about carbon footprint and the bold uh, uh, you know plans that you have to reduce the carbon footprint by 20% by 2015. Uh, for Stop and Shop, for your 758 stores, how do you really, how are you going to execute against that? And what, what are the steps you've taken in that direction already? But, but John, the, uh, our journey started back in uh, actually long before we made the commitment to, uh, right. to uh, reduce our carbon footprint. Back in 1999, 2000, we wow. uh, joined, uh, we, we, we had a partnership with the Rocky Mountain Institute, uh, also known as the RMI, okay. and there were and still are the, the, the country's leading uh, uh, team on, on sustainability and, and green practices. And we partnered with them at the time to, de to develop what we called back then the less store or uh, low energy superstore. And the, uh, the design back then called for that particular store to uh, save uh, to be 35 percent more energy efficient than our than the store that it was replacing the older design so to speak so uh, the, the store was developed and built in foxborough massachusetts and opened back in november 8 of 2001 and since then we have taken all the uh, energy uh, efficient uh, designs in in uh, uh, and implemented them in every new store that we built since. We've also taken part of those uh, technologies and implemented them in, in what we call uh, our remodel program. So every store that got remodeled back then, within uh, the reason that is, we've taken some of those sustainable and energy efficient initiatives and put them into the, them stores. Wow. So, okay. uh, 
in in reality also we've got uh, we've got a holistic approach to reducing our carbon footprint so we've got investments in energy conservation every year now for the last 3 to 4 years we've averaged uh maybe 13 14 million dollars at what we call energy conservation initiatives that get uh, implemented into the existing fleet added to that are are um uh, you know, what we do as part of that is lighting uh, retrofits, uh, energy management system uh, commissioning. We install uh, energy efficient motors in all of our refrigeration and, and walking coolers. We also have a commitment to build all of our new stores to be LEED certified and uh, also have uh, committed to investing into renewable energy. We have one fuel cell in place already in one of our uh, Stop and shops in Connecticut, in East Torrington, to be exact. Hmm. And we also have uh, invested and installed 30 uh, solar systems on the roof of 30 of our stores. Hmm. And we've got uh, currently six in place, six in under construction, that is. So we'll have a total of uh, 36 plus five that were existing. So 41, roughly 41 stores by the end of this year that will draw on average eight to nine percent of their energy or electricity demand that is from uh, sun, from the sun. And, and using all different types of methodologies, as you said. Yes. And, uh, you know, again, we also have, in addition to that, uh, there is uh, another uh, issue that we that we address uh, as, a, as a supermarket company that is not common to other retailers. John is uh, refrigerant. We have uh, invested into uh, installing leak detectors on our refrigerant uh, systems, so that way we can get to the refrigerant leaks quicker. Wow! Uh, so uh, because uh, refrigerants do contribute to greenhouse gas uh, emissions and global warming. And we're in the process of testing different technologies, and hopefully uh, sooner than later we'll be testing what they call natural refrigerant, which is the ultimate uh, ref- refrigerant to be used as uh, because it's friendly to the environment. And if and when it leaked, the net contribution to global warming is zero. So, uh, again, as I mentioned, a, a comprehensive approach. Remember, Scala, I want to ask you, uh, I know where, you, where we're speaking from today. I'm in New York, and you're in Massachusetts. Talk a little bit about your partnership with the Environmental League of Massachusetts, and how does that partnership work and meet your goals? We 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 are uh, uh, we are on the corporate uh, uh, council board of the uh, Environmental League of Massachusetts. Uh, DLM and and Stop and Shop and and I'll Hold USA share the same values. Uh, they they the environment is their main concern. The environment is one of our main concerns. So uh, our values are the same. DLM looks out for, uh, you know, those uh, similar to us. They bring businesses uh, together to promote uh, the environmental uh, causes. They support uh, the same causes that we do. They uh, bring to us uh, the latest uh, legislations that impact our business, and they, they take to the legislation are, are also our concerns when it comes to uh, bills in or uh, legislation work that that has an impact on the businesses that are trying on their own to support the environmental uh, causes uh, around the state of Massachusetts. So uh, there are common values, common goals, right? And there are great partners for for the businesses in Massachusetts that are promoting uh, promoting that. Hey, you know, and I'm like I told our listeners earlier, I'm on your great website now, www.stopandshop.com, and I clicked on to the recycling and environment uh, portion, and I'm just fascinated by all the things you're you're working on, Rascala, and your great brand is working on. Talk a little bit about besides carbon footprint reduction, which we now know you're doing in so many different ways. Talk a little bit about the other programs you're working on. Some of these that I see on this this great page with regards to transportation and reusable bags and recycling initiatives and things of that such. All right. Uh, that's a loaded question, John, but I'll be happy, happy, happy to answer it. Oh, great. Well, in addition to the carbon footprint, as I mentioned, we've got other right. other initiatives right. that are underway. We've got a great community engagement program uh, in, in dedicated to helping children. We support uh, health clinics across 
the 13 states where we, we operate from uh, Dana-Farber to uh, the, Ch- the Children for Miracle Network hospitals, uh, Johns Hopkins, I believe, also Sloan Kittering in New York. We support, uh, you know, uh, the, fi- the the hunger, uh, the fighting hunger, you know, initiatives uh, across, uh, again, across all wow. of the, uh, the, the states and the communities where, where we operate. Uh, we work closely with food banks. Uh, we are also committed to building healthy communities. So this past year, we've announced a three-year plan to raise nine million dollars for our found, you know, family foundation program to reduce child, childhood hunger. Uh, so that that's that, that's a big uh, uh, big uh, target for us, big goal because we we strongly believe in it. Uh, in addition to, to to the community engagement efforts and in, in, in fighting hunger, in, uh, we also, as, as you mentioned, we have a very aggressive uh, waste uh, reduction goal that basically calls for us to be at zero waste by 2020. And that means that uh, zero waste is not actually zero waste. It, it's diverting 90% of your waste out of landfill. So for that, we've got... So many initiatives underway. We we, we currently recycle pl- uh, cardboard. We recycle plastics. Uh, we recycle uh, uh, organic waste. Uh, now is diverted also from the landfill. It goes into animal feed and or uh, composting. And we also have an initiative that we announced last year, which is to reduce uh, the use of plastic bags in our stores by a billion bags by the year 2015. Well, well, let, let, it's just amazing for our for our listeners out there that want to learn more. They just got to go to your great website and see all these great things you're working on. And I, I just want to squeeze in a couple more questions here because we're down to the last three minutes or so, and you're just such an amazing guest, and you're doing so many great things, touching so much. Talk a little bit. You touched on it earlier, but I want to hear one more time. Explain to the our, our listeners how Stop and Shop is also um, making it easier for your great clients and customers to choose healthier or more sustainable products. Thank you, John. Another another great subject too. And uh, for that, we have also uh, numerous. Uh, steps and initiatives in in, in place. Uh, Recently, we introduced a sustainable choice logo for for products that we consider safe, sustainable, and also uh, uh, produced responsibly. The first category that applies to that is is seafood, and the plan is to roll this program over to other products such as coffee, tea, and, and, and others. And what it means Basically, sustainable choice, at least for, for, for seafood, it, it means that the uh, fish has been responsibly farmed in or fished. So, uh, and uh, we, in addition to that, we do have uh, health and wellness, and wellness education programs throughout the year, whereby we have what we call healthy store tours. We take kids on a store tour to promote uh, healthy foods, healthy ideas, uh, healthy uh, eating habits, and and better hygiene, because we believe that, uh, as you mentioned earlier about uh, our future generation, we believe that if we educated our kids now uh, on healthy practices, I think that uh, it's one of our great investments to uh, the future to the next generation as they yeah. grow to be uh, healthy. Uh, we have a, a program that uh, shelf tax program that help customers identify healthy uh, idea products across the store, be it our own brands and or natural brands. It's a logo that uh, tells our customers uh, that this product is is healthy. Um, and we also uh, have healthy idea magazines that, that uh, I, I think, I believe also they should be able, our customers or listeners, your listeners should be able to find that on our website. So we have uh, a wide uh, uh, a wide spectrum of, of initiatives that are in place, John, that, that would help uh, Perfect. promote that. We're gonna we're we're down to the last minute or so, and I just want to ask, um, as we sign off, uh, any any personal um, green things that you do that you want to share with our with our listeners as you inspire them as we say goodbye. Yes, 
Thank you. Uh, Thanks, you know, it, it, as I say, I, mean, we have, we ha- I have to uh, walk the talk, so to speak. I yeah. can't be promoting right. all of these initiatives right. and, not, and not practice them or not be a, a believer in them. So, if from, you know, personally, uh, uh, I'm, we're, we're very big, you know, in, in my household on, on recycling. So mm. uh, we've got, you know, what, what I do for the company, I do at home. Uh, recycling cardboards and, and, and plastics and bottles and newspapers. And, and, and I ask, also I encourage our, our customers and, and, and our listeners to do that. It, it becomes part of, uh, part of your daily chores, so to speak. Uh, one of the things that we've been pushing and I started doing at home lately, believe it or not, is also uh, as part of our commitment to reduce plastic bags, why don't, why don't we use reusable bags when we go grocery shopping? Mm. I think it's the best thing that we could do. Uh, you know, to the environment. It may be right. a modest step, uh, but, you know, collectively it becomes, it becomes a leap for right. all of us when, to, to get, uh, you know, uh, reduce the amount of plastic bags that we use. One of the things that I do at home also is something that I implement for the company is energy conservation. Uh, all of the lighting in my house is uh, compact fluorescent uh, lamps. You know, lately I've switched at least the kitchen to LED lighting because it's the next generation of energy uh, efficient lighting. Uh, the kitchen is where, and, and the living room is basically where most of us spend their time. So I think I, I, I encourage our, our listeners and our customers to look at these uh, at these uh, uh, technologies. And, and last but not least, you know, one of the things that uh, it may be uh, uh, somewhat of a uh, uh, New idea, maybe not, but I mean, let's look at uh, reducing uh, our food waste at home. Uh, we're, you know, I got a three boys, three growing boys, and so we're a family of five. And, and you know, one of the things that I've discussed with my wife a couple of weeks ago is when I noticed that we had maybe three or four uh, garbage bags. Uh, you know, on a weekly basis, when I look around my neighborhood, and I see two for most households. I'm saying there's something wrong in this. You know, we need we need to get to the bottom of this. Why are we generating so much waste? And one of the things that we looked at is meals. I think uh, I encourage folks to think about the size of the meal that they cook on a daily basis. You know, if it get a household of two, maybe we should cook for two and not for three or four. I mean, in my right. family, you know, I come from a big family, and we're always used to cook uh, for seven or eight people thinking that someone is going to stop by someday or one day <laughs> or today and, and, and have lunch or dinner with us. So we're right. always thinking of... Bigger's better. Yes. So I honestly Perfect. encourage folks to, to just cook, cook the right size meal. I love it. And Jihad, you're the best. Is What a great interview. You're always welcome back. For our listeners out there to learn more about what he's doing at Stop and Shop, go to stopandshop.com. Jihad Riscala, you are a responsible retailing leader and truly living proof that green Thank is you. good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.